From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of Evenings LA with incredible great new news about your four stimulus check updated 2021. The vote may be called by the time this broadcast airs. Why? Because Nancy Pelosi says she's ready for the vote tonight, Thursday night. But I think it may potentially go Friday night. Which one will it be? We'll see in tonight's recording. The Congressional Budget Office report is going to be done by the time you see this recording. Whoa, no one thought that was going to be happening. And now the vote could be happening tonight. Nancy Pelosi addressing the American people minutes ago saying she wants the vote Thursday night. Will it happen Thursday night? And if it doesn't, will it be on Friday then? Programs across this incredible recon. Lots of checks, many checks, that will pay on average $15,000 in this incredible for stimulus recon, but no time and place to wait for that money because $45,000 has been attained mostly on average from the viewers' channel from third stimulus, and it can pay your bills right now. I have the latest details direct from Santa Monica tonight with the big exciting money in this recon. As the sun is setting across the land, millions of Americans are getting money from this channel this week as viewers getting it in the last hour and two hours. Then we turn to student loan debt forgiveness, more debt could be forgiven, and then the big money for fiscal stimulus coming right behind that as the sun sets across the land. I'm excited for you. We got a big night across the land and we got a big recording with not only that cola raise and also fist stimulus, but fourth stimulus going to a vote potentially die. Third stimulus paying your money right now. Boy, it's just perfect. The only thing we're missing, oh yes, Framewars is back with another episode tonight. The excitement starts right here, right now, on Evening's LX. House deal is done in that incredible recon, and that vote will be potentially tonight. Nancy Pelosi says minutes ago, a vote Thursday night? Yes. And the Congressional Budget Office report done. Oh, boy, where did that one come from? Then we're going to go over the incredible clusters of checks in this recon that pay a lot of money. There's multiple checks in this for stimulus recon. $15,000 of them across the board, at least. And then we'll turn back to third stimulus because you need bills paid. Don't reason to wait for fourth stimulus. You can get third stimulus to pay your bills right now. How much are those bills? $45,000 of checks across that incredible third stimulus. Student loan debt forgiveness. More debt could be forgiven, $10,000. And then that fifth stimulus go a raise. Wow, we got a big recording. We have a big night. And I am in the live chat with you. And I'll try to jump into the live chat of all the shows tonight because Nancy says the vote will be happening tonight for your fourth stimulus recon. Will it happen? Subscribe so you find out, like this video, and consider becoming a member. Boy, we got a big shows tonight. Coming right after this is Street is Countdown, then Street and Stimulus, then Sirloin at 8 o'clock. It's a brand new Sirloin that originally aired but has never been replayed, so you may have never seen it. It's at 8 o'clock, which is about the time that Nancy may call the vote around when Sirloin may be airing, if not 9 o'clock show, because she generally calls the votes at about midnight. Eastern Standard Time. Let's go over this incredible recording. Let's go tell you what we're going to cover in this video tonight. We're going to go over first the $15,000 that you're going to get across all these clusters of checks. We're going to go over each of these clusters of checks. Then we come back to the breaking news you're hearing for the first time on Evening's LA tonight about that Congressional Budget Office report. The vote happening tonight, says Nancy. My analysis, whether it's happening tonight or tomorrow. The statements from Jalapal, which I'm not particularly happy about, about the voting. And then we're going to go over each of these checks one at a time to learn how you get the $15,000. We'll be cutting back over to third stimulus to get that $45,000 most viewers have gotten. And then we go over to fifth stimulus. And here we go. Let's start with the big money. Third, fourth, fifth. Well, here we go with fourth. Fourth stimulus going for a potential vote in the House of Representatives tonight. And across that fourth stimulus, lots of checks, multiple checks, which will pay the viewers of this channel on average about $15,000. And what is that comprised of? Three clusters and two add-ons so far. And let's look at them starting right now with cluster number one has to pay. 
Wow, that is that earned income tax credit. Back end, $4,000 for elder care. That is front end, $4,000 to care for young children. Then they got the Pell Grant, $550 checks for college students. They got the CTC, child tax credit, for one more year for my children. And then they got the repairs to the low-income households. Wow. Repairs, house repairs, if you live in a low-income community. Then they got the... The twenty, the twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the purchase price of a new electric vehicle. That is your first cluster, and that is several thousands of dollars just to start. Let's go to the first add-on, and that first add-on comes from Maxine Waters, the wonderful legislator here in Southern California. And what is it for? For money to go buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Uh, yeah, really, money to just go buy a house. She's giving you money in this incredible recon for the purchase price of your first home. She wanted $25,000, but it's going to be a little bit more than that. How do you get that? How do you get that money? How do you get any of these monies? It's coming up late in this video. Stay with me. I'm going to go over the details in a second. Let's go to the second cluster of checks, and here we go. We got in this second cluster some home repairs. We got the paid leave. We also got the seat, the household tax credit back end, the pre-kindergarten front end, and we got in there the weather, weatherizing your home. You know, you need to weatherize your home. It's the holidays, and you know what the holidays means? Mitch driving up in a lobster mobile. <laughs> Mitch is going to drive up in that lobster mobile, so you need to weatherize for the holidays. How do you recognize it? It's red. <laughs> it's not a Prince song. It's it's not a Corvette. It's just a red lobster mobile. And you need to weatherize because the only thing worse than that is seeing Joe Manchin drive up in that Maserati. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go to the second add-on of checks. And that second add-on of checks comes from the wonderful Bob Casey. $250 billion for that home health care and seniors care if you are on disabilities. Wow. That home health care, if you're a senior or a person on disabilities, amounts to $250 billion. He got a little bit less than that. But it's still really good. Let's go to the third add-on. And that third add-on is where the checks become deliciousness. Here we go. We got in there money for my seniors, money for free internet. What are the details? Let's go over each of them. They got in there. The free meals for all. Then the t uh, cheaper prescription medication. The immigration reform. The farmers. The clean energy out. And then the workers in. And then the Medicare expansion. They got two provisions in on the House side. And then three are going to go on the Senate side. What are the... Two and three. On the House side, they got in there the hearing and then the Medicaid gap states. Then on the Senate side, Bernie represents you putting in dental and vision and also lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. Which brings us to our third add-on, MMC, or monthly or multiple IRS stimulus check. Those six senators represent, they want to put it in there. Have you advocated with them today? As Jennifer would always say, have you advocated with them today? And what's important to understand is that they want to do it. The two C's, the two W's, and the two S's have told thousands of viewers over the last few months they want to put it in on the Senate side. And we've had two viewers this week, Donnie and Lynn, who have gotten representations from those same legislators they're still putting in there. Who are they? Casey Coons, Sanders Schumer, Warren Wyden. You need to advocate. What was the last provision or the last payout amount that they were talking about? The last amount they were talking about was $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for six months. Maybe they do less. Maybe they do something. But what's important to understand is they have the opportunity to do something. House is not. House is not going to put it in the House bill. It's not in the House bill. The House bill is going to be passed as early as tonight. Off to the Senate. Senators have two opportunities to add it in on the Senate side. And that is doing Votorama or doing a subcommittee uh, of that legislation. And what's important to understand is you need to advocate. You need to advocate. Did give yourself some time to call the two C's on Monday, the two S's on Tuesday, the two W's on Wednesday. I love that. The W's on Wednesdays. But you also want to give yourself Thursday or Friday, or at least a couple days per week, to get third stimulus. Do not look to fourth stimulus to pay your bills. Look to third stimulus to pay your bills. You have rent. You have utilities. You have mortgage assistance. You have heating oil. You have gas. You have electric. You have any of these bills, mortgage assistance and clothing, small appliances, lean on third stimulus. It's law. You don't have to wait around for it. It's law. It has fortunes in there, and it's still paying out. How do you get this money? It's coming up in the second half of this video. Stay with me. I'll explain the details. The surprise is that the Congressional Budget Office report will likely be available at the time of this recording. And the voting is set potentially tonight. Will it air while the show is, will the voting start while the show is airing? All the latest details. Then we go over the programs in this incredible recon. $15,000 across this board. Would you be turning to student loan debt forgiveness? The latest on that, the $10,000 offer. Fifth stimulus, raising your benefits up after COLA raise. Those details are more plus the excitement that everyone 
everyone's wondering, Frame Wars, what's going to happen tonight in Frame Wars? Oh, we went from $500 to $1,000 frames. Will we go to $2,000 frames? Those details and more, plus Frame Wars, as we go into the second half of this video, I'll be back with you first in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on a big Eve. I'm excited you're here because away we go. Nancy Pelosi says the vote on that recon will happen tonight, Thursday night. Will it happen Thursday night or will it be Friday night? I have the latest details and the surprise of that Congressional Budget Office report released. And then the surprise and the excitement of $15,000 of checks across this incredible four stimulus recon. How do you get this? I'll go over the latest in this video. Then we'll be turning to third stimulus, thousands and thousands of dollars obtainable, and how much? On average, $45,000. I'm going to go over the details of how you get this big sums of money. Student loan debt, the lays on that student loan debt, and then we turn to the COLA raise, fifth stimulus. Those details and more as we go into a big evening's broadcast. I'm excited you're here. We got a big night and a lot of breaking news, plus my commentary lay in this video and new developments out of the vice president's uh, offices tonight. Wow, it's a big recording, so subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Like this video and consider becoming a member. The link is under the video. Coming up next is Countdown, then Street and Stimulus, then Sirloin, and then the 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock shows. I look forward to seeing you in the shows tonight because that could be when the vote happens. Here we go. Nancy Pelosi starting a Thursday morning saying the vote will happen Thursday night. Yes. By midday today, she said the Thursday no vote is still going on, ha on, on pack. What's going on? Over a week ago, Nancy Pelosi got a deal with the moderate Democrats that the vote would happen no later than the week of November 15th. That's where we are right now. And that I had been predicting that she would call the vote on Thursday night because she loves to vote on Thursday nights at midnight Eastern Standard Time. At the time of this recording, still on, pa on path for her. What made the situation even more deliciousness was that everyone wants to call the vote. Well, almost everyone. The Congressional Budget Office report was one of the items that was mentioned in calling the vote initially when they signed that agreement with the moderate Democrats. I say it was not much of an issue anymore because the moderate Democrats said, uh, we think that the, the CBO is going to say the same thing that the White House and the Treasury Secretary said, which is the whole recon is paid for itself. We're not going to worry about it. Well, the great news is out of nowhere. Thursday morning, the Congressional Budget Office report said, a Congressional Budget Office said their report may, will likely be done by the end of Thursday night. Wow. That means that Nancy would have the report available when she calls the vote on a Thursday night. So will it be called on to Thursday night? Here is where it stands at the time of this recording. At the time of this recording, Nancy still says the vote will be happening Thursday night. Do I think it's going to happen Thursday night? I just get a sense she's going to do it on Friday. I have no idea why. I just get a gut reaction she's going to do it on Friday. The way she uses her verb tenses, sometimes you just sort of get a, a jugular reaction. I just get a sense it's tomorrow, but it's absolutely not lighter than that. Now, here comes Jalapal. Out of nowhere, Jalapal had a comment, and I am really unhappy with Jalapal's comment. What is Jalapal's comment? 
a little complicated. Let me explain what she said. She said, you know, it doesn't really make sense to call the vote on the recon in the House because the Senate parliamentarian has not ruled. And if we pass a recon in the House and send it to the Senate and the provisions have to be taken out, we have to come back to the House for a final vote. So I don't think we should rush the vote on the House side until the parliamentarian rules. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that's wrong in that sentence. And uh, this is not the first time Jalapal has been wrong lately, so I don't know what's getting into her. First, uh, the waiting to vote for the parliamentarian is a very bad image for the progressives. They've always said, do the recon vote, quick, 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 do it first, do it before the infrastructure. Now they're talking about slow it down. It was the progress, it was the moderate Democrats are talking about slowing down the vote. So why would she say that? Number two. It makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. Why does it make no sense? Uh, because we all know, even Jalapal knows, that the senators are adding stuff to the recon. So if you add $1 to the recon on the Senate side, guess what? You go back to the House for a quick 10-second vote. They do that all the time. The senators add $2 into the recon. It goes back to the House. They vote in 10 seconds. It's done. So for her to act like the House, this is their last vote, it's just sort of weird. It doesn't make any sense. It's also wrong. They pass on the House, she sends it to the Senate. They have the legislation. Then the parliamentarian says, take out, for example, immigration reform. Okay, we take it out. It still stays in the Senate. It can pass the Senate by recon. I mean, you take out the provision while you're in the Senate. You don't have to take out the provision before you get into the Senate. It's just all wrong. I don't know why she said it. Good news is Nancy's not doing what Jalapal says. Nancy's the one who determines the call of the vote. And here we go. I'll have more about this commentary later in the video. Uh, here we go. This incredible recon has lots of checks in there, so get that pen and paper ready. The first check in that incredible recon is the paid leave and family leave. And wow, this is big. How? What is it? You have to stay home because of illness, death, or pregnancy in the household. Now, let's say you don't work, and so you're not staying home at all but your son or daughter does, and they live in the household, then you want to watch this video because it applies to the whole household, or at least watch this provision. So how would this work? For example, your son or daughter takes you to the, far, to the doctor once a week and takes off from work. The, child's, the son or daughter is going to get paid uh, for the household um, because of, they have to take off from work. And so that's how you get the benefits for the whole household. How much does it pay? A lot. $1,700 a week if you make $35,000, $70,000 or more per year. $800 a week if you make $35,000 or more per year. $400 a week if you make $15,000 or more per year. Wow, that's a lot of money. How many weeks? Four weeks top, tops per year. That is huge. That is five to $6,000 on, on the high end. Then the best part of this incredible provision is it's everyone. Whether you make very little money or a lot of money, whether you're W-2 or 1099, here we go. The second one of provision put in this recon is the salt cap raised up. And that salt raised cap up is great. It Under the 2017 tax overhaul, it limited the amount you can deduct on federal tax returns from state taxes at $10,000. Now the cap will be at $72,500 of what you pay in state and local taxes. You can now deduct on that federal tax return. They got $40 billion of job, free job training, really helpful for my seniors especially, because there are a lot of people who just want to go back to work part-time but can't. Under fist stimulus, they're going to revise that so you can go back to work. Now you can get free job training. They got the Medicaid gap fix in there, which is great for that private ins for that insurance a lot of viewers always ask me questions about. There were 12 Republican governor states that refused to pay for Medicaid. So now the Democrats have a workaround plan to provide years of subsidized private insurance to those low-income uninsured people in those states. And then we get to the best provision of this entire recon, the housing. Yes, the housing. $150 billion for the rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. Uh, and then we turn it over to the new items like home repairs, weatherizing the home, and purchase price of your first home. With that, that gives us a step back into third stimulus land. If you have bills to pay this week, do not look to fourth stimulus to pay for the bills. Fourth stimulus is not law. Look to third stimulus, which became law earlier this year, and it's still paying out. And I'm going to show you how to get those monies. Most viewers of this channel have averaged about $45,000 that they have gotten for third stimulus. But many viewers of this channel have gotten over $100,000 from third stimulus. So let's go over the details of it. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, SNAP. Then don't forget about the nonprofits that help with other items like homeless people into shelters and also clothing and small appliances. We're going to start with the rent. 
And the important thing before we even start with the first item is the following message. You qualify. You qualify, whether in your red state or blue state, married or single, children, not children, behind on your bills, not behind on your bills. You qualify. And here we go with rent, the first items. Here were the rent uh, about three months ago, twenty to 30000 Now the rent has gone to 40000 Why has it gone up so much? Because viewers have become more sophisticated to learn how to get this money, number one. Number two, there is more money. <laughs> number three, the rent's more expensive now. And number four, they're getting the rent from multiple sources at the same time, which I told them to do. All right, here are the six places you get the rent from. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and State House Authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent or mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. Now, here's a couple of things that you need to know. One, you must, M-U-S-T, get and reach out, you must reach out to all six places. Don't reach out to one and call it a day. Do not reach out to one and call it a day. They have different pots of money, different eligibility. If one says no, reach out to the next ones. Also lean on the five nonprofits. Number two, put applications everywhere. Do not put one application and wait around and twiddle your thumbs. Put applications everywhere. Number three, you can get funded from for rent from multiple places at the same time. Do the same thing for mortgage assistance. Let's turn over to utilities. Here we go. Utility numbers are an astronomical. They're growing by the month. They were this three months ago. Then they're $15,000 last month for Mark's brother-in-law. They're likely to go higher. Why? The Consumer Price Index number released last week shows that the cost of heating oil has gone up 49.1% in the United States. That means that people will qualify for more money. Get all those utility bills, every one of them paid for. Snap. You should not be paying for food. If you are here and you qualified for a third stimulus, you should be getting your food paid by SNAP. What is SNAP? Department of Agriculture. And while these were the graphics three months ago, they're now a bit higher. Mark's brother-in-law getting $25,000 a year. Yes, that's a year. Over the next 10 years, he's going to get a quarter million dollars from this channel. Get combo items. Here are people who got one item or three items. Mark got two at $32,000, Nancy three, Nisi three. I said to Mark when he had two items at $32,000, go get the third. He did. So he went from two items at 32,000 to three items at 50,000. And now many items at over 100,000. Lorraine, she was at this number. Now she's at $120,000 for these multiple items. Which brings us back over to Johnny, who embodies so much that we've learned from him. Here are the two things that happened with Johnny. First, Johnny was one of three viewers who started a particular week with zero dollars on this channel. By the middle of the week, he had gotten 45000 as the two other viewers did as well. They didn't know each other. They got three items approved, 45000 But Johnny didn't stop. He continued to push on Thursday and Friday. And by Saturday, he had gotten seven items approved. To get seven items approved, he did not make seven phone calls. He made at least 15 phone calls. Seven items, how much did he get? $80,000. Wow. That embodies why you have to keep on making phone calls to get those many items. Second part of the story I really like. He turned to his family members the next Monday and said, you know what? I got 80000 Where? From this guy on YouTube, LLA. Whoa, what did you do? He said, well, there's all this money available on the third stimulus. They said, third stimulus? Johnny, there's no money on third stimulus. It's just a $1,400. It's just a $1,400 stimulus check. I saw it on broadcast and print media. I saw it on a cable news channel. That's all that's in that recon is a $1,400 third stimulus check. He said, no, they don't cover it. Broadcast print media, LA covers it. And I got 8,000. Let me show you how. By the end of the week, those two family members, disbelievers, became believers. They each got 50,000. Why is that story so important? Because... What you need to know is that if you just found this channel, this is why this is the number three financial channel in America. Why? Because no one is covering the subject matter. They don't want to cover the subject matter. They want to cover stocks, bonds, or the Kardashians. <laughs> and they don't care. They don't get you money. They never got people the first stimulus. They barely told you some of the programs on the first stimulus. Second stimulus came along. They barely told you what it was. Third stimulus came along. They never even told you what it was and never showed you how to get any of these sums of money. And fourth stimulus will be the same situation as well. Same thing with YouTube channels as well. They don't care to generally show you how to get any of these sums of money. They don't work through the applications. They don't apply. They don't show you how to apply. They don't show the eligibility. They just don't care. 
This is what we do here. You help each other. I help each other. The volunteers help you. We're all a loving community, which brings us back into third, fourth stimulus, where we left with that housing aid, because guess what? That housing aid has that overlap. And we have all these provisions for rent repeated under fourth stimulus. Remember, don't wait for fourth stimulus, because it's available right now under third stimulus. But let's see the other provisions that are going to be new under housing and fourth stimulus. Those provisions are the... Weatherize your home, all types of home, low-income renovations, that's low-income community, and then the purchase price of your first home. We believe the eligibility is the same, like uh, the eligibility is the same across the board, but it has to be first and it has to be a single-family resident. We'll see a little bit more about this as it gets closer. Hundred, then we have $150 billion for in-home health care, $550 checks for my college students on the Pell Grant, and then the big shocker that makes no sense. That $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Okay, this was supposed to be for GM Chrysler. It's supposed to be a lot of vehicles, but there's a problem. As of a few days ago, it was one vehicle. Why? Because they have to be made in the United States, and only the Chevy Volt, as of a few days ago, was the only one made by Ford, GM, and Chrysler that's electric made in the United States. They come in from Mexico. Oh, so what did the president do this week? He visited another plant that will be making an electric car. Good. Which one is it? The Hummer at 125000 Oh, come off of it. Yeah, that's what I said. Just come off of it. Uh, why don't we just visit the Bentley of the Rolls-Royce dealership? I mean, 125. Uh, now, there's rumors that the sh that the Ford Lightning and also the, the Cadillac Lyric will be made in the United States. We will see. Then there's $65 a child under that food that tuition, uh, that tuition food when they're not in school. The best provision is incredible recon is a cheaper medication. And wow, is it great. They got in there this wonderful provision that ends 20 years of tyranny where Big Pharma had to stick it to uh, Medicare and just charge them whatever they want to charge. It's ending. And this is if it becomes law. The moment it becomes law, 20 medications will undergo dramatic changes in pricing due to good faith negotiations from between Big Pharma and Medicare required under the rule. The most expensive medications like cancer, arthritis, diabetes, Medicare Part D, Medicare Part B, and those 20 medications will grow to 30 by the year 2028. They will not increase more than the rate of inflation. And if they increase more than the rate of inflation, then there's a penalty for Big Pharma. Penalty? Well, that's not particularly something that should go in a recon and should be removed by the Senate parliamentarian, says Senator Pat Toomey, Republican. Senator Pat Toomey says when legis <coughs> legislation lands in the Senate, he's ready to butcher it with anything that does not belong in there with the Senate parliamentarian, which is what my commentary was earlier with Jalapal. Just send it to the Senate. I mean, let them deal with the Senate parliamentarian. What are you waiting for her to do with it? GOP is going to start to go after it once it lands there anyway, so don't try to preempt it. Just send to send, do it all together. Senate parliamentarian is a government official, and she looks at provisions whether they can go by recon or not, paid leave potentially on the chopping block, and also immigration reform, which she previously ruled cannot go in there. Senators have a lot to add into the recon, so the whole thing that John Paul's saying makes no sense. Bernie says it's the best bills in the 60s, but we have a lot to add, and we will be adding stuff. So why hold it up in the House, Jalapal, if the Senate is adding stuff in there? Who cares that the parliamentarian is taking stuff out? Senators are adding stuff in there as well. It will be a different bill. It will have to go for a quick final vote in that House. We have Coons. We have Wyden, who says there's a significant amount of work to be done. We have um, Murphy as well saying they're adding provisions in on the Senate side. Well, there you go. Get that fan paper ready. Time for some more checks. And the first one is front end, pre-kindergarten, the three- and four-year-olds, one-year checks. We got in there. The enhanced earned income tax credit, that is back end. We have the child care credit, that's back end. We got the CTC, one more year front end, $3,600 approximately. The home health care. It's likely a covered benefit. But then we have the Medicare benefits. That's uh, the hearing. That is a check. And then we've already gone over the rent, the Pell Grant 550, and the $65 per month per child when not in school. So what does Bernie want to add to this recon when it lands in the Senate? 
He wants to add in their lower eligibility age of Medicare. He wants to add in their dental and also vision. He says we're the richest country in the globe, and yet we can't get this done. So let's go over that. First, he wants to drop the Medicare eligibility age. Currently 65, he wants it at 55. Bob Casey wants it at 60. We'll see if it happens. Then he wants to, Bernie, put in their 10 years of full dental benefits. Very expensive. I don't know if he can do it. The uh, last the second offer was three years of full benefits, Democrats, dental. But the last time dental was in this recon, it was $850 checks in the mail to you. Good, but not enough because it doesn't cover a procedure. $850 is not enough money. Then that tees up the vision. And the vision, Bernie wants a pair of frames and a pair of glasses per year. Very simple. I said fifty dollars for some frame for some uh, for an eye exam and a hundred dollars for some frames, and we are done. Call it a day, and away we go. Sent out that one fifty dollar check every year to my seniors, and no, it was not done there yet. That caused the commotion. That caused the tyranny. That caused the civil unrest, and it caused frame wars. <laughs> <laughs> it started with Frame Wars. In episode one of Frame Wars, one viewer in the live chat said, that's not enough, Ally. My daughter buys me beautiful frames, $450 frames, and Medicare should pay for it. <laughs> then on episode two, one viewer in the live, in, on social media, on Twitter said, Ally, that's not enough money. I get a trifold, <laughs> not bifold, a trifold, and I get a special color and a special hue, and it, I have to do it away. And that's $1,000. In episode three, one viewer said, you know what? My optometrist says, you have really crazy eyes, but very unusual, very enchanting. Is the optometrist coming on to you or just trying to sell you something? And that viewer said, my, my, my glasses are over $2,000. <laughs> And today in episode four in the live chat, someone said, uh, this doesn't cut it, Ally Light, because I have to have transition glasses. I have to have transition from sunglasses outside to, to non-sunglasses inside. I need to transition, and I need a little bit of color in the, in the transition. I don't like black. It, it's, it's bad for my health to have black black glasses. I have to have orange or particular colors, and that's more money, Ally. Advocate to Bernie for transitions. <laughs> transition stimulus i just there's a lot of advocacy here and guess what everyone has an opinion about their frames what do the opinions say let's take a look And that is Frame Wars, my friends. Uh, uh, his dance moves are just so out of touch. I mean, he needs to definitely upgrade his prescription. <laughs> he just, I watch his dance moves. I said, have you looked at your dance moves in the mirror? Oh, no, you, you just can't see. You need to upgrade the prescription. It's just like, what is he doing there? Even the dog thinks it's crazy. Uh, so there we go. That's Frame Wars. What will happen tomorrow? I don't know. Send me your messages on social media or on the live chat. Whether it's true or false or fake or funny, I don't know which one it is, but send me your messages. I've been getting dogs that are wearing glasses. I've... <laughs> Uh, I expect to get alpacas that are wearing glasses tomorrow. Get alpaca stimulus, Ally. Uh, everyone has an opinion. <laughs> now let's turn to some student loan debt forgiveness because we need to be forgiven for wearing such awful glasses or at least for those horrible dance moves. Uh, here we go. Um, away we go with student loan debt forgiveness. The Democrats have an offer and they should take it. That offer is $10,000. Democrats have a big offer of $10,000 student loan debt forgiveness by executive order. It wouldn't go by recon. Democrats should take it. They previously had an offer for 
uh, 10. <laughs> they turned it down. And the latest offer is still 10. Uh, needless to say, the president forgave student loan debts for people who became disabled. He forgave student loan debts for people who went to work in the nonprofit sector and also the public sector. The Democrats should take this across the board. This stimulus is so important. It's really important. Your benefits are going up next year 5.9% on that color raise, but don't wait around for that because you need fifth stimulus right behind that. Why? Your benefits are undervalued. Your benefits have not been raised up for many years because COLA doesn't move. And as a result, your benefits were too undervalued before the pandemic, during the pandemic, and even after the pandemic with this raise. They want to raise you up again a second time, one big time to get you caught up. If you are on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, 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 they want to apply a new benchmark. The new benchmark is inflation, and you need that. Inflation is going to be 2 to 3% every year, so you'll step up an additional 2 to 3% every year. And with that, if you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The link is under the video. Click the link under the video to get that membership and get that newsletter that comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Light alert system. At 7 o'clock, that newsletter comes out written by me that features the big money under first, second, and especially third stimulus. It features the six places to reach out to, the keywords to say, the five nonprofits, and how to read that treasury statement about the additional cash infusion for rent now available in cities and counties around the country before you make the phone call. That's how the big viewers of this channel, like the Don, like the Johnny, the Marks, and the Lorraines, have gotten those huge sums like Nisi for the rent, utilities, and food, and internet. Do it right now. Become a member and get the incredible information. And with that, let's go into what I anticipate to expect tonight, what I saw in a breaking news report minutes ago from the, about the vice president, and what I anticipate for the weekend. First, will there be a vote tonight? I get a sense no i don't know why i get a sense it's to a friday night it's just something in the verb tense from nancy um i think she wants the vote um but i think there's something strange out there and i just maybe it's someone's busy <laughs> they're busy for 24 hours uh jollipop not very happy with her comment um i don't know why she made that comment about parliamentarian really unhappy is me about there's a series of one or two or three progressives who said let's just vote on this after thanksgiving what's the rush uh who what who are you i wish i could tell you the names because i don't the article did not cite them they're all off the record yeah they don't care to say they identify themselves with that horrible quote uh then we have a fascinating report out minutes ago that the vice president's communications director has quit abruptly minutes ago this is the vice president's communications director. The vice president's office has been under fire all week long, and there has been big in, ro in big infighting in that vice president's office. The imagery, the messaging has all been quite um, not good, um, and maybe this will be the turn of the tide. Then, what should you next focus on? You should focus on time management and giving yourself some time to pick up the phone and call. Lorica got money for uh, for. Uh, I think it was for heat, for electric, $1,000 overnight. I mean, it's just great. Keep on sending me your messages because of the rush recordings, because of the breaking news today, I couldn't bring in the, the printouts of all the stories. But I saw about five um, viewers in the last three days who have got money from third stimulus. So it's really, really working. What's important to understand is there's so much to sort of refocus with third stimulus. Number one. You may have gotten the money before and you thought the money was used up. It's not used up. It's still there. You may have thought, I got the money before. I'm not allowed to get the money again. You are. You're allowed to get the money multiple rounds. And you can get the money from diff two different places. So let's say you got the rent from point A before and you went back to point A to get some more and they're out of the money. You can go to point B. You don't have to get it from the same place. You can get it from B and C at the same time right now as well. So you don't have to even get it at one place. You can get it multiple places. You want to get the money forward. Larika got something, I think she said for wood, for 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 burning, um, for heating or something like that. She said she got wood into 2022. That's a lot of lumber. <laughs> That's a lot of lumber. Larika, maybe share it with some viewers. They want to build their first house with that. I don't know. That's an enormous amount of lumber. I don't know where you put all the lumber. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. That's not how we how we heat here in Los Angeles. Because you know we have palm trees. Uh, there you go. Uh, so that is exciting. She got lumber into next year to heat whatever you heat with lumber. Uh, that is what you do. Very, very exciting. I'm very, very exciting how so many viewers have become a laser focus on this money. 
It's important to understand that in every given day, in every single place, there's going to be a DNQ. DNQ, a new expression on the channel, do not qualify. That DNQ person has been around from third stimulus, was around under second stimulus, they're going to be around under 20th stimulus. <laughs> they just say they don't qualify for anything. They do. They and, and, and why do they do this? I don't know. I can't record for them, and I'm not here. I'm not here to record their issues because they simply just sort of live in this universe. Now, um, w what they sometimes do is they double down. Like, like in the last 24 hours, they said, "Yeah, but I really don't qualify." <laughs> well, I, I got it. You already said before you don't qualify. Now you said, I, "But I really, really don't qualify." <laughs> okay, I, I got, I got it. Uh, <laughs> So there's, I, I, I can't do anything to convince the DNQs that they do qualify. What I can do is I can help you. Um, I've been dealing with DNQs since day one. Day one, when I was on camera and I would say, hey, there's money in Michigan. And I'd, and, and I'd have the rundown of the five places that five different viewers got from Michigan last night. I'd read on camera and someone would say, there's no money in Michigan. Michigan doesn't care. They don't care. They don't help anyone. I'm like... Um, I had one viewer got 20,000 yesterday. One viewer got 10,000. Oh, how dare them? <laughs> well, you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe, they just, maybe they didn't have the right eyeglasses on when you caught this. You know, they didn't see eye to eye. I, I don't know. Uh, so we have seen DNQs. And needless to say, there's been reverse DNQs. There's been reverse DNQs. And my favorite of the reverse DNQs were the EIDL people. They were people who simply because of one particular YouTube channel, which I'm not going to name, were told that everyone could get an EIDL grant, and they couldn't. And they, um, they literally would send me messages to say, hi, I walk my neighbor's dog once a year. Is that a business? I went $10,000. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I clean my neighbor's front lawn, you know, once every two years because I see a newspaper left there. Can I get a $10,000 grant? That's a side business, a side hustle. What is that business called? It's called picking up the newspaper of the neighbor. <laughs> I'm like that's not a business, uh, but I I want really I really should get that ten thousand dollars. There were even people that had set up strange Instagram accounts in 2020 to help people get EIDL grants that should never have gotten them, and I even made videos about it. Do you remember uh, Blaine six six six? As one viewer said, can you bring back Blaine six six? I will bring back Blaine six six. We had the um, the exotic dancer. He said, I'm an exotic dancer. I qualify for an EIDL grant. <laughs> Blade six six. No, you don't. <laughs> he said, "I'm an artist." No, you're not an artist. Well, you're whatever. Uh, artists don't qualify for uh, that type of artist. Doesn't qualify for any ideal grant. So we have reverse DNQs that think they qualify for everything because they want that ten thousand dollars. So I want you to sort of zone it out. Focus here and focus right now. Um, it's important to split your time. Advocate on one side and also um, also make sure you get these sums of money. Um, these sums of money are showing people to refocus. Every time you have a bill, get it paid. Every time you have a bill, get it paid. You know, because I made it very clear, what bills I can't help with. I can't help with the car, and I can't help with the house under third stimulus. I just can't do those. But if I can get your other bills paid this month and forward three months, four months, five months, look how much money I freed up for you. If you have your list of bills that you pay every month and you run you you run you you add them up and you see what the running total is, let's say it's six hundred dollars, let's say it's eight hundred dollars, I don't know, thousand dollars, then you look at them and say, How many of those can I get paid by third stimulus? Oh, I can get, you know, fifty percent of them or sixty percent of them. Just use an example, every month for five months, look at the money you just freed up that you don't have to take out of your wallet. With that money you're not taking out of the wallet, guess what? That money is then in that wallet, and then you can use that money to fix the car or to fix the roof. That's how you help pay bills. You get financial independence by getting freedom away from as many bills as possible. So you're caught up and even paid forward. And that's how you do it. We're going to see what's happening tonight with that vote. And I will be in the live chat. And certainly, I think... <laughs> I just... Oh, God. Uh, I... I... <laughs> I just, I just sense, I just sense some of the, the some of the uh, the donity comments coming if the vote happens tonight. The vote will happen. You know, let's say the vote happens like, oh, right now. Let's say the vote happens right now and it passes. Then there's going to be nine thousand comments that says, so the voterama is starting. You know, in an hour from now. <laughs> And the stimulus checks are going out right after that, right? Uh, the Votorama is happening like in the next 15 minutes right after that. Uh, I even had someone send me a message as they said, the Votorama happens before the, Senate, before the House. 
No, <laughs> no, it doesn't happen before the house. But I appreciate you attempting to listen. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, the, there, there's vo- there are people who literally are obsessed with the Votorama. It's fascinating. I love it. Um, but the Votorama is not literally the next minute after the house passes the, the legislation. Uh, first of all, we have the weekend. <laughs> We have the weekend. Uh, and number two, we have the subcommittees. And we have a lot of stuff they got to add in there. A lot of stuff. Um, and that is why I want you to get the big money from Third Stimulus. Don't wait around. Get the big money from Third Stimulus. Join me next as we go into Countdown. Then we go into Screen Stimulus. Then Sir Lauren back. Move out of the way. As he brings us back into his Kawa coin and Loin coin operations. Taking on... L- L- uh, 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 I I forgot what Trevita's coin was called. Uh, Oh, Coinita. Coinita. Uh, Is Coinita going to the moon? We will find out tonight. And then we go into shows at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock as well. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to the YouTube record. I want you part of the incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, 2, 3,000 likes, and become a member. Get that newsletter coming out tonight at 7 o'clock. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a positive day. Have a beautiful day, and have a beautiful evening. And stay with Ally for more.